Hello kids and welcome to the Place Value House. Today we are talking about ones and tens. I have here a Place Value House that has spots for ones, tens, and hundreds. We will only be talking about the ones and tens today. Here we have the tens and ones places. There are rules in this house that have to be followed, and one of the rules is that you can only have one digit in each room. A digit is any number from 0 to 9. Let me show you what I mean. Here is the number 2, and this is one digit because there is just one number. Let's look at another number. This is the number 20. Can you tell me if this number has more than one digit? Yes, the number 20 has two digits because the 2 is a digit and the 0 is a digit. Uh-oh, we cannot put both numbers in the ones room. We have to split them into each place. This is still the number 20. We just have the 2 in the tens place and the 0 in the ones place. Now that we have that rule out of the way, let's look at some place value blocks. Here is a ones block. This ones block is worth 1 and is represented by the number 1. What if I add more ones blocks to the ones place? How many ones blocks do I have now? I have five ones blocks. Great job! We can see the number five above the room, and we are not breaking the house rules because we still have just one digit in the room. Now let's add four more ones blocks. How many blocks do we have now? Can you count them for me? We have nine of the ones blocks. Great job again! But wait a minute, another block just moved into the ones place, but something is wrong. I think I know what it is. We have reached the number 10. Because we have reached the number 10, we have more than one digit, and we are breaking the rule of one digit per room. Now here is the really cool part that I learned the other day. Watch what happens to the blocks when there are 10 of them in the ones place. All of the 10 ones blocks stuck together to form what we call a tens block. This is a group of 10 ones called a 10. Why do you think we call this a 10? We call it a 10 because this tens block is made up of 10 ones blocks. You guys are awesome! When we had 9 of the ones blocks in the room, we had no problems, but once we reached 10, we had to form a tens block. The tens block is now in the tens place and not the ones place. In the tens place, we are only allowed to have groups of ten. That means we cannot have any ones blocks in this room. If we look at the number above, we see a number one in the tens place and the number zero in the ones place. We have to remember that the ten in the tens place is really ten ones blocks that have grouped themselves together to form a ten. This is some amazing stuff to learn. Let's look at another one. Here we have four ones blocks, and they go in the ones place. Now count with me as we add more ones blocks to the room. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and here comes one more. Once we have ten of the ones blocks, we have to group them into what? We group them into a 10. Great job! This is a 10s block. Can you tell me which room a 10s block belongs in? It belongs in the 10s room. You guys are amazing at this. We now know that when we have 10 ones blocks, it is grouped into a 10. The number 10 means 1 10 and 0 ones because there is nothing in the ones room. Wow, this has been amazing. Thank you so much for helping me. Come visit me again real soon. Goodbye.